There once was a doctor named Stan, who everyone knew was the man. A patient he met was put into debt, but he still couldn't pull off the pan. Hey guys, James here again with another game review, this time talking about the hospital management simulation game, Two Point Hospital. Two Point Hospital runs in the same vein as the old school hit, Theme Hospital, or like other tycoon games you might have played, except with some wacky twists. You set up different rooms to diagnose and treat your patients, and along the way, a ton of hijinks happen. Overall, I would say the game is nice, relaxing fun, with a lot of heart and charm, but if you're looking for more variety or a difficult simulation game, this might not be the game for you. Two Point Hospital does a lot right. First off, it's really funny. The illnesses in the game are all comedic references and play on words. Emperor Complex is a psychological disease which makes patients walk around nude with a certain swagger. Lightheadedness is a disease where you have a light bulb as a head. There are a ton of little references and clever names for the diseases. Unlocking and learning the different diseases throughout the campaign is definitely an enjoyable experience which can also make you chuckle along the way. There's a ton of funny little flavor text and descriptions as well for the staff, patients, and different tools. The visual style and animation also adds a lot of personality to the game, and for whatever reason, even though it's not really a similar style, it's kind of reminiscent of The Sims. It's cartoony, but it's a style that will age well. Characters will have funny ways of walking around, and will often do dances and interactions while they wait. The humor goes beyond just visual gags though. The PA announcer will often have some funny little messages that they throw in here and there when certain things are happening in the game, such as when patients poop on the floor. Not only that, but the game has music that plays through a fictional radio channel. The channel is hosted by a couple of different hosts, and these guys are some of the funniest parts of the game. They'll say all kinds of ridiculous things, including some storylines that carry throughout, and really help make the game feel alive. Speaking of the radio, the music in this game is great too. They do a sort of parody of popular songs or genres, and while I wish there were more songs, it's definitely a nice soundtrack to have going on while you manage the hospital. One moment which really stuck out to me was the first time I heard the Pink Floyd parody, Stethoscopes and Kaleidoscopes, which really made me smile. As for the gameplay, I would characterize it as very relaxing. The actual management aspect is fairly easy and to be honest, gets a bit repetitive. The campaign has a good sense of progression as it introduces new concepts and diseases with every level you play. The problem is though, once you figure out the new concept, each level feels more or less the same. Every game you set up a reception to direct patients around. You set up some diagnosis rooms which you fill up with doctors and nurses to figure out what illnesses people have. Then, once they reach a certain threshold for diagnosis, they get sent to a treatment room. They get treated and either are healed, leave disappointed, or die. Along the way, you hire your staff, train them, assign them to jobs, and watch as the hijinks begin. The staff management portion is pretty easy, and a lot of the time, you can get away with severely underpaying your staff. If their happiness gets low enough, they'll threaten to leave, but simply giving them a break and a slight raise will almost always fix that right up. You can also upgrade equipment, research different technologies, set up marketing campaigns, and dabble around with your prices. I found that touching the prices is pretty pointless though, because raising prices even a little bit tends to make customers angry, and even a 10% increase of the base price often leads to customers refusing to pay and damaging your reputation. So in the end, changing your prices is pretty pointless. There are a ton of different challenges that come out throughout the course of a level too. You're given long-term objectives which you need to complete in order to get your hospital to a 1, 2, and then 3 star rating. These long-term objectives usually feel like time sinks, and the most difficulty in them is usually just making you sit there and wait until you hit the objective. There are some staff objectives which will make staff happy if you complete. Usually these are fairly simple, although some are a bit out of your control or you might not even really care about. There's no punishment for failing them, so ultimately, they don't really matter. There's also emergencies which might happen where a group of patients will come in all at once for a specific treatment. These can be difficult, as you need to complete it within a time limit, but the punishment for failing is fairly minor, so again, it doesn't really matter. Once in a while, some VIPs will come to tour your hospital, like a radio host, the health inspector, or a celebrity. These are usually fairly simple too, and even if your hospital's in a state of chaos, they might still leave with a good impression overall. Again, there's no punishment, so... In later levels, you get hit with natural disasters and epidemics, which actually add a bit to the gameplay. The natural disasters can really cause things to go off kilter and light a bunch of your machines on fire. Epidemics, on the other hand, are an interesting challenge that will make you have to pay attention. You'll get a notification that a number of people in the hospital are infected with the disease with some sort of visual cue, and it's your job to vaccinate them before the disease spreads and escapes the hospital. While I like these challenges, they would also get a bit repetitive and slow the game down. There are some levels that throw other challenges at you, such as the public hospital level where you only make money for completing certain objectives. This was the one level where I actually reached a point where I had to restart, but that was mainly because I didn't understand the scenario. This level also proved to be more annoying than anything. 
There are also some remix levels which you can unlock which throw different challenges and scenarios at you, such as a horde mode, or a mode where you can only make money off staff development and challenges. These definitely change up the game similar to the public challenge level, so if you're looking for a bit of a change, you can find them there. Ultimately though, the basic campaign and sandbox feel a tad too easy, and I think you end up needing to create your own challenges to make things interesting. With the loans available, it's pretty tough to go bankrupt. I also found that once your hospital reached a sort of equilibrium, you really didn't need to do much managing and would usually rake in big profits. With regards to the hospital design aspect, I would say it's fairly enjoyable, but also fairly limited. One big complaint is of course the fact that you can't even design your building layout and have to use preset layouts in the game. Another issue is that while you can make rooms big and fancy, this ultimately doesn't provide much value to the game flow itself, unless you care about your staff, I guess. This made it so I usually just found myself equipping rooms with more or less the bare minimum. You can make some cool designs, but the designing gets repetitive and often I just copied old rooms or used a room template to place rooms down quickly. Because of this, hospitals will usually end up looking more or less the same. Two Point Hospital is definitely an enjoyable time, and I really think there is so much to love in the game, but in the end, I think the gameplay isn't necessarily interesting enough to justify the $35 price tag. For me personally, I would put it around $15 to $20 or so for the base game. I didn't play the DLC, so I'm not sure how these might affect the game, but I've heard the DLC is good. It's a good game to relax and kill time with, but if you're looking for an in-depth management game, this isn't it. But hey, that's just me. Feel free to let me know down below what you think of Two Point Hospital. And if you made it this far, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do consider hitting that like and subscribe button as it helps my channel grow. And as usual, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.